Now that we've got the Bitcoin Core downloads ready to go, let's go through some recommendations for facilitating a LARP game. The Bitcoin protocol is pretty involved. Running a LARP involves a lot of new information and steps. We highly recommend having assistants or experienced LARPers or other Bitcoiners at each table in order to help participants not fall behind in each activity. Also, you can share this content so they can be in sync with all the information. This will help a lot to run the LARP more smoothly. The goal of the LARP is to build the longest blockchain together, but it's also for everyone to learn about how Bitcoin works. If you happen to know the people who are playing, it may be a good idea to have more experienced or more technical Bitcoiners distributed among the different tables so they can share what they know with newer players. You can run the LARP with a single facilitator. However, we'd recommend extending the amount of time allotted for each phase for additional time so you have time to help each group complete the steps. There's two phases which are competitive in the game. The first, getting transactions into mempools, and the second, winning blocks by mining to extend the blockchain. You don't have to hand out rewards, but it definitely makes participating more rewarding. Here's some ideas of what to hand out to teams that do well. Candy or individually wrapped chocolates, stickers, Satoshis over lightning, an additional miner for your node, maybe only in the mempool phase, While setting the game up, we created two mistakes. We'll use these as an opportunity for players to learn how to spot mistakes and correct them when possible. The given mistakes are the initial Genesis Coinbase transaction only spends 49, not 50 Bitcoin. This is not a mistake that we can fix. The second mistake is that the first network transaction is missing a signature. This is fixable, but generally nodes should throw away invalid transactions. The idea is that players must recognize the mistake. Maybe some will notice it. You can encourage them to explain it to the others so everyone will learn about it. If they don't recognize it, be sure to show them the mistake and explain it. All right, those are the basic recommendations we have for you and things to keep in mind while putting a LARP together. If you have other suggestions to give us, please leave us a comment on GitHub or send us an email at hello at phase58.school. Now let's move on to setting the LARP room up.